Hey guys, what's up? It's Alec from AppFun and AppleWisdom.com here, and today I just want to tell you a little bit about the new iPad and how it can run up to 13 degrees hotter than the iPad 2 while you're playing a game. Now, Consumer Reports just did a um, research and a report into uh, the new iPad and how it will be able to reach up to 13 degrees hotter than the iPad 2 um, when you're playing a game and when it is plugged in. When it's plugged in, it'll reach up to 116 degrees, and when it's not plugged in, it can reach up to 113 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, this makes a difference of 12 degrees hotter um, when it's plugged in, and 13 degrees hotter when it is unplugged. Now, um, showing that is they did these tests while they were playing um, specific games, and uh, these games were to bring full potential to the device itself. Now, there's a lot of different things that could cause this. The um, most probable thing is the fact that it does have this longer battery. It does have a, um, it does have the Retina display to take the power to power the uh, Retina display in the first place. It may need to um, use more battery at the same time, causing more thermal heat in the back of the new iPad. Now, Com Consumer Reports um, launched all this, and uh, it was while playing Infinity Blade 2. Uh, which is a very popular game. You can check out my review on my channel of that. But uh, basically, um, what I want you guys to do is leave a comment in the comment section below. Do you think that 13 degrees is noticeable? Do you notice a change if you have the new iPad? And if you don't have the new iPad, does this still make you want a new iPad? Uh, the fact that it does get 13 degrees hotter than the iPad 2? Or do you guys not really care that much? Personally, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, but leave a comment in the comment section below. I look forward to hearing from all you guys. I'll see you guys later. I'm out from MapFun and AppleWisdom.com.